Hey guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am back up at my antique booth, Green Onion Vintage. This is located in my treasure house in Edwardsville, Illinois. And I'm just up here putting in a few more smalls for fall. And we've finally sold maybe three or four large furniture pieces. So we have a bunch of new things to share with you. And I hope that you like this tour of my antique booth with me. Just walking back to my booth now, coming in kind of in the back right hand corner of the store. It feels so good to have this big empty space because that means something has sold. If you guys remember, I did a lavender kind of chest of drawers. It had the lavender flower transfers along the bottom drawer. Um, I have a video of it a few months back, maybe two months ago I did it. Um, so I'll try to link that video down below for you. But that sold over the weekend and got picked up today and today's Monday. So I'm really excited to see that go to its forever home, hopefully. Um, I have a few more things in here, but for now I'm gonna fill in this gap, kind of rearrange, and then I'll take you throughout the whole booth. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright Okay, I'm all done. Let me show you what I accomplished in about 45 minutes. So you saw me bring in this little blue buffet. We just had that over in a different booth, just filling up some space. That is a piece that my mom did. I'll have to find out which blue that is if you guys are interested and I'll put it down in the comments, but I'm sure it's a Dixie Belle color. Just trying to make some different vignettes. I did take out, let me show you actually before I get into the booth. I took out all of this stuff. So pretty much a tub full, about half a tub full, I guess. Um, just trying to really work on the color story. Now that we're like mid-September, I mean, we're definitely going into fall now. Before it was like a little wishy-washy if we were still summer or fall, but now it is time to dive right in. Um, I do still have some lemon items here. I'm just really wanting those to sell. I don't want to store them again till spring, but That'll be the next thing to go. I'll give them a couple more weeks and see if someone comes in and snags them. And I know I have like a couple greenery things up there. Um, maybe I'll, I might pull that fern out. I'm just not sure. It's just, those are the things that are kind of catching my eye as far as what does not look right. Of course we have these light blue pieces of furniture that we're both, the bigger one is my mom's, the smaller one is mine. We are really itching for those to sell because like I said, the color story is just not it's not the best fall color ever. We're trying to go nice and dark. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but navy is actually really on trend for fall. Um, I went through Hobby Lobby and I couldn't believe like all the navy pumpkins and whatnot. I mean, they were doing everything in navy this year. So I thought that was kind of cool. This buffet is new to the shop and look how cool the top is. I want to say my dad took the veneer off the top of that, but I'll have to double check. I'm, but I'm pretty sure it was not like that when they bought it. And then my mom just did the blue sides and some of the details. So I thought that was really beautiful. So like I said, I had a chest here that sold. And then I'll flip you around to our other booth. So we still have this nice pie cabinet still available for $3.90. Solid walnut. This is an old refrigerator here. I do kind of hate covering this up. I just, our wall space is also all taken right now, so it's having a tricky time fitting everything in right now. But that old fridge is really cool. My mom has sold several of those. But coming around here, I can't remember if this piece was in here in my last video. This one might have been in here. But it's so cool, and I was a little irritated by how much stuff was on it when I got in here. I could definitely tell that our booth has been shopped, so even if we're not having sales, it's nice to come in and see that stuff was just kind of all over the place. 
I mean, that's encouraging that there's shoppers in here, um, but it is really necessary that I come in or my mom comes in every now and then and we straighten things up. So this one's 260. It's got that wavy front drawer and that full mirror. It's so pretty. Look at the top of the mirror. I just love this piece. So that's still available and I just try to clear it off a little bit. Um, some of the stuff went in the bin to go home with me and sometimes I'll put things away like in a cabinet so I put some stuff in our pie cabinet just to kind of clear off and give shoppers um, just so, a more clear point of what we're trying to sell here. Sometimes if it's too crowded I just feel really overwhelmed and like I said kind of like agitated and so I feel like I don't want shoppers to come in and feel that way too. So I like the shopping experience to be nice and peaceful and you come in you're able to see everything. It is important to give shoppers like kind of something to dig through so that they spend more time in your booth. But I do feel like since the pandemic, I don't see people just taking their time in stores like this anymore. I mean, you used to like see people come in and they would spend a really long time going through each booth. And I just don't feel like people are doing that quite as much. So it does feel a little bit more important to have things a little more cleared out. So this high boy you guys have not seen. It is big, this is probably seven feet tall. It's really beautiful. My mom did some kind of uh, patina treatment with salt to the handle, so they're all a little bit different. And she's asking 385 for this. It's also solid wood. Look how nice and clean it is inside. So that's just an amazing piece that we have right now. I don't think we've had a high boy this tall. It is really beautiful. I love that fake wheat up there. That's really cool. I might snag that. That's my mom's. <laughs> she won't notice, will she? We have this green ladder kind of back here in the corner. Got some fall stuff on there. Trying to make use of all of our square footage. So we have some stuff on the floor. We try to go up as high as we can and then here's the red dresser I did in a video for you guys a while ago maybe maybe a month ago now you guys were asking where it was in my last antique tour so uh, here it is we finally got some space I'm asking 190 for it tops nice and smooth you guys saw me like work forever to get the white paint off the top of this um, a little bit more of a boho feel I'm really liking this red for fall it is rusty nail from Dixie Belle so it's kind of just like a softer, darkish red. And then I did this stencil. I cut out a stencil with my Cricut using cardstock. So that's how that came out. And I know you guys want me to change the hardware. I actually want to change the hardware too. I just have not found this size. I can't find six of them. I'll have to order something on Amazon, but I'll give it a chance in the store and see how it does. It's only been in here a couple days, so... If it sells with the current hardware, that'd be great, but if I need to change them, I will. Just some more fall florals. This really beautiful wash chain back here that I've had for a while. I'm asking $150. And I have a scale there for $85. And then this is just one of the rolling pins that I shared recently in a DIY video. What am I asking for these? I want to say about, oh, this one's $18. I think 18 to 20 dollar range is what I'm doing most of my rolling pins that I have kind of upcycled. You saw those other projects too, the shutter there and then that little uh, sifter. And then my mom brought in this chalkboard made out of an old mirror frame from a dresser. Those are always really good sellers for us and the red's so pretty right now. As far as what's up here, I have these bean pots that I shared with you before. This rolling pin was also from that same DIY video recently. This pumpkin I DIY'd last year before I even did DIY YouTube videos. <laughs> I had a bunch of these and this is the only one that didn't sell so I'm going to just try to sell again this year. I thought those came out really cool. I basically just did some floral arrangements and glued them into the top of just, um, I guess these are more like the styrofoam pumpkins that I painted. So those came out really pretty, really nice for like a centerpiece. Some baskets and some table linens. Quilts have been really popular for us. Color-wise, this one's not the best, so I kind of put it towards the back of the booth, but 
I mean, quilt season is coming up, so I did not want to take it out completely. I know it'll sell. We've been selling them like crazy, actually. And so here's just this side of our booth, kind of from the back. And then just kind of showing you back around. So I already showed you that blue buffet. I brought some of this stuff in, though. I've had this white wash in for a while. It's more of an antique white. I love the size of it. It's very cute. Honestly, I don't know why it hasn't sold, and I kind of just want to take it home. It's $120 right now on sale. Nothing wrong with it. Just kind of worked on this little arrangement. I swapped out the greenery in this dented old uh, pitcher, tea kettle, I should say. Just put some fall florals in there instead. I thrifted a couple mugs, so I'm reselling those. I'm coming back around this way. I, I kind of showed you guys this already, but here we're going nice and slow, top to bottom. Old barrel is really cool. My mom got this. She's asking 65. Nope. That might be with the florals. That's a cool accent piece. And then this dresser she has marked down to 175, which is crazy cheap for a huge dresser. Solid wood. It has a perfect mirror. We have a couple of these like longer hook pieces too in the booth still. Some my DIY projects here. And guys, I still have this gingham chest. I don't get it. I don't understand. I think it would have been really cute to do in black, black gingham, but I thought the blue would sell by now. I'm just a little stumped by it. I have it marked down to $1.99. I know someone suggested changing the handles, but I think the handles are pretty cute on it. Um, but obviously some things, some things, you know, stop people from buying it. So if that's the price thing, I mean, eventually I probably will go down in price. Um, probably closer to $1.75 would be my next price point, but I really hate to go lower than that. That is pretty much everything in our booth right now. So, you know, a few repeats, of course, but I know that you guys kind of like to keep up to date on how things are going. I have a lot of viewers who are also um, antique booth vendors. And you guys have kind of shared the same, you know, sales have been a little slow, or it's just been a really weird year overall for for retail. So we're hanging in there. It's definitely been up and down all year for us. Um, a lot of downs, but it really did help to have a couple big sales of furniture finally. And we're hoping that uh, some of the pieces that we brought in will sell quickly and we have a really good holiday season coming up because normally that's a good time of year for us. But I'll let you guys go there. I really appreciate you watching another antique booth tour. Um, if you would like this video and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. It helps my channel out a ton. And I will have a new DIY video coming out really soon. I appreciate you guys being here, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Sleep. Hear the crickets, see the moon. Side side and through and through. To what we can do Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for 